Hey everyone, today we have some news about Grand Theft Auto coming to Nintendo Switch. Now, we're going to call this stuff a rumor, although it's sort of a report. It comes from some very reliable sources over at Kotaku. And there's also some additional information from uh, basically their financial briefing uh, at 2K, at, at Take 2, I guess I should say, uh, that kind of hints towards Grand Theft Auto coming to potentially to Switch, uh, maybe even more than what we have today, potentially like Grand Theft Auto 5, hello, was on the Xbox 360, why not on Switch? I don't know, I guess we'll find out soon, but before we get into the news today, I gotta remind you that we are giving away a Nintendo Switch OLED. That's right, we're giving away a white version of the Nintendo Switch OLED uh, right away at launch. On October 8th, we're actually going to announce the winner a little bit before October 8th in a live stream. To enter, to win, all you have to do is subscribe. So, like, click that subscribe button. And uh, I would appreciate if you would also hit the bell icon uh, so you get at least, hopefully, some notifications uh, for our videos. And, obviously, uh, if you really enjoy the content, leave a like and a comment down below to help us out with that YouTube algorithm. Let's get right into this video without any uh, further delay. We got this article over on Kotaku that I'm going to read off for you guys, and then uh, some additional uh, potential information coming directly from Take Two. So uh, here is this article on Kotaku written by Zach Zwiezen today, uh, and it says the following. After months of rumors and speculation, Kotaku has learned from sources that Rockstar Games may be remastering the classic Grand Theft Auto games. Currently, it appears these games will be released later this fall for a multitude of platforms, including the portable Nintendo Switch. For the past year, rumors have swirled on Twitter, Reddit, and various message boards that Rockstar is working on remakes or remasters of the classic PlayStation 2 era Grand Theft Auto titles. These rumors only grew in popularity as Rockstar's parent company, Take-Two Interactive, used DMCA takedowns to remove classic GTA mods from the internet while announcing that the publisher had three remastered games in development. While Kotaku can't confirm what all of those teased remastered titles specifically are, we can confirm via corroborated details from three sources three that GTA remasters are currently in the final stages of development, baby. Kotaku has reached out to Rockstar about these remastered games and future GTA re-releases, but our sources have so far had reliable track records that have alerted us to updates to Grand Theft Auto Online and Red Dead Online weeks, if not months, in advance. According to these sources, Rockstar is actively developing remastered versions of Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. All three of these games are being remastered using Unreal Engine and will be a mix of new and old graphics. One source who claims to have seen a snippet of the game in action says that the visuals reminded them of a heavily modded version of GTA, or of a classic GTA title. The UI for the games are being updated too, but will retain the same classic style. No details were shared about gameplay, but Kotaku has been told these remastered titles are trying to stay true to the PlayStation 2 era GTA games as much as possible. Sources confirm that Rockstar Dundee, a Scottish outpost, and one of the newest studios at the company, is leading the charge on developing the remastered games. Another source explained that the studio is heavily involved in not just the remasters, but even in helping Rockstar on developing the next-gen Grand Theft Auto V ports that are due out later this year. This lines up with information that I had heard last year after the studio was purchased by Rockstar Games. Before becoming Rockstar Dundee, the studio was Ruffian Games and had previously worked on Crackdown 2, Crackdown 3, and assisted with the development of the Master Chief Collection. Plans around these remastered GTA titles have shifted quite a bit over the last year as a result of the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, and they might continue to do so until things are officially announced. Originally, it seemed that these re-releases were going to be packaged together and given to players who purchased the upcoming next-gen ports of Grand Theft Auto V and GTA Online as sort of a bonus or a thank you gift from Rockstar. Then plans changed, and the remastered trilogy was scheduled to be released earlier this year. However, plans have changed again, and now the remastered titles are planned to launch around late October or early November for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, 
Xbox Series X slash S, Nintendo Switch, PC, Stadia, and mobile phones. It appears the PC and mobile ports might ship to next year as Rockstar focuses on developing the console ports first. While some might have expected Rockstar to space these releases out, if not releasing them on each game's per respective 20th year anniversary, sources told me that this isn't the current plan. Instead, it seems that all three games are released in one collected package that may only be sold digitally. For fans who are more interested in other classic Rockstar games getting remastered and re-released, sources tell me that Rockstar has plans to develop new ports for games like Red Dead Redemption. But the future of these remastered games depends on how well the initial re-releases sell. However, for now, Rockstar is focused on getting these three remastered Grand Theft Auto games out the door alongside Grand Theft Auto V next-gen ports. Dundee is leading development, and many other studios across Rockstar's vast network of teams are also pitching in on both projects. According to one source, everyone shifting to support these titles is one major reason why Red Dead Online has seen fewer and smaller updates. But if all of this plans out, it might be a very exciting year for fans of classic GTA games. And again, that's all really, really exciting stuff. Also, in their most recent financial report, this slide appeared. Uh, and what's interesting about this slide is really the last section where they talk about remastered games. And they talk about a few games that, that are in the works. And then there's three titles that aren't mentioned. Uh, obviously, it, would, it should be these Grand Theft Auto titles that we're talking about. But there's always that potential that... If these remastered games do well on Switch, that Grand Theft Auto V could actually come over. Because while GTA 6 is likely in active development somewhere inside Rockstar, it's probably still two, three, or four years off. Grand Theft Auto V is making so much bank with their online mode, plus it's one of the best-selling video games of all time and continues to be a, a chart topper every single month that yeah they don't they're not really in any rush and rockstar likes to take their sweet time uh so yeah with these remasters coming out if they do all right on switch i think grand theft auto 5 would really be right around the corner maybe even as soon as next year it really shouldn't take that much to port the game to nintendo switch because it's already on hardware worse than switch for people who don't remember grand theft auto 5 originally released on the xbox 360 and the playstation 3 them was ported to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, and now is being remastered for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X slash S. So it's interesting because that's three generations of hardware that Grand Theft Auto 5 would be on, and it's still not on Switch, which is better than the original generation of hardware that it released on. So there's not really a reason for it to not be on Switch other than just deciding... We don't want to put it on Switch. I know some people have argued, well, the online mode, they have actually had online updates released for the Xbox 360 version as, like, literally last year. So it, it, they're, they're still making money. Where there's money to be made, they want to be there. And Switch is the leading, like, current platform. I, you, you can argue which generation it belongs in, and we've had that argument before. Oh, does it belong in the same gen as PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series, or is it really with Xbox One and Play? It doesn't really matter. What matters is of currently active, front-running platforms. It's Switch, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series, along with, obviously, PC. Well, yeah, Switch is currently the market leader at this exact moment. Will they stay the market leader forever? No, of course. But right now, they are the market leader, and Grand Theft Auto's not there. Rockstar is not a stupid company. They know where the money is at is where they want to be. And right now, there is money to be made on Switch. And we've seen other games like... How, how many times does Minecraft keep popping up in the top 10 charts on Switch? Like, it, it's to this point that it's almost idiotic that Grand Theft Auto V is not on Switch. So assuming that these, you know, these port, remaster, remake things for the classic Grand Theft Auto games do decent on Switch, I think that's only going to drive motivation further to finally bring Grand Theft Auto V over to Switch. Obviously, right now, they're focused on that next-gen stuff. It literally could take six months just to port Grand Theft Auto V over to Switch, especially that Xbox 360 version. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. But for right now, Kotaku is sticking their flag in the mud and saying, hey, later this year, we're getting these games, not just on the expected platforms, but on Switch. And I think that's just the first step to getting Grand Theft Auto V. And then who really knows with GTA 6? I realize that's going to be made for next-gen platforms, or I guess they're current-gen platforms. However, you never know. Because what, what, what hardware, you know, in, in three or four years when GTA 6 finally comes out, what hardware is Nintendo going to have out? I'm sure they'll have a next-gen platform out at that point, right? 
you know, or a more powerful Switch at least four years from now. So who really knows? And if Grand Theft Auto Remastered Remakes and GTA V, you know, assuming they bring that to Switch, ends up performing really, really well, I think that bodes well for their chances of getting GTA VI day one. And that would be a big get for Nintendo from a third-party company. you got to remember, clearly the parent company is fairly happy with Switch because we keep getting NBA 2K every single year. Like, it's been there since day one. We've gotten the full fat version, not some dumbed-down, last-gen, running on a completely different engine ver No, we get the current version of the game just with lower resolution assets and obviously running at 30 FPS. Um, and we've been getting that every single year, and NBA 2K has been one of the best day and date releases every year on Switch from third parties. So... They clearly are seeing some success with that, and if they see success with this, I think that's just going to solidify, um, you know, Take Two, uh, Rockstar, you know, just the, that whole company um, supporting Switch moving forward, which would be great for Nintendo fans too, because obviously we're at a point now where we won't really expect the next Elder Scrolls or next Wolfenstein or Doom, you know, that Microsoft. Um, you know, owns Bethesda. We don't really expect a lot of these games to now come to Switch like we've gotten in the past, where we got Doom, Doom Eternal, Wolfenstein, etc. Like we don't expect to get games from that company uh, moving forward. Ever since I was that buyout, so being able to turn around and be like, yeah, we don't have those games anymore, but we have these ones, would be great. Just like it would be really great if CD Projekt Red uh, saw enough success with Witcher 3 to decide they want to start bringing. Um, you know some of their games in the future to switch they haven't yet as of yet so I'm, I'm very curious if sales for that didn't go as expected obviously cyberpunk would be a pretty big um, a pretty big game to bring the switch but also a pretty uh, difficult one to run on switch it already has difficulties running on things like PlayStation 4 uh, but that doesn't mean it, it couldn't be done proper optimization you know anything's possible so um, or, or maybe they'll wait for more powerful hardware from Nintendo. I have no idea, uh, but I'm, I'm just glad to see uh, that it appears like a, a studio like Rockstar is actually giving Switch some time. And that, to me, is already good news. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch each and every one of you in the next video.